Hey, what's up guys? My name is Faison and in this video, I'll be going over another way that you can improve your Science Olympiad ping pong parachute. So make sure you stay tuned until the end. If this is your first time visiting the channel, I post videos on Science Olympiad every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you're either interested in Science Olympiad or you want to improve your devices, for your events, then make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you're updated every single time I post a new video. But with that said, let's get right into the video. Now, if you've ever competed in Science Olympiad Ping Pong Parachute or even just look at a couple of videos on YouTube about the event, then chances are you've probably seen some rockets where they use this sort of light tube uh, to make their fuselage for the rocket. And while, yeah, this is a good option, it's not the best unless you make some key changes to your rocket. And the first, or the one we're going to be focusing on, is the aerodynamics of this piece. So already, yeah, this piece is pretty aerodynamic, to say the least. You have a super streamlined fuselage, very thin compared to other things on the market, and it's relatively, it's moderately heavy. It's not too heavy, but it works. It's good and it works. But the problem is, is this part right here, the top. If you ever try to put your parachute on this, which I found is an easy way to launch your parachute effectively, if you put your parachute on this, there's a high chance that this will pierce through your parachute, depending on how thin your material is. So if you want to avoid the amount of, if you want to avoid this piece piercing your parachute, or you just want your rocket to go a little bit higher, then you have to do some things to improve its aerodynamics. Now some cheap solutions that you can use to improve the aerodynamics of this rocket is one, get a ping pong ball and put it on top. Now, this is by far the simplest way to do it, but it does give you a little bit of overhang, which is not that effective, not that, it doesn't have that much of an impact or, or detrimental impact for your ping pong parachute's performance. It just has a little bit of overhang and sometimes strings may get caught on it. But the reason why your ping pong ball works as sort of an aerodynamic solution for this is because it's rounded. Now, it's not the best aerodynamic shape possible, but it does improve the aerodynamics of this piece quite a bit. So when you improve the aerodynamics of your rocket, it should be able to get less drag going up. So you, you could theoretically go a little bit higher. Now, this ping pong, ball, ping pong ball doesn't weigh so much. So it's not that big of an addition if you are looking at it in terms of weight, but it could be a big booster for your performance. But let's go to the previous discussion we had saying that this rocket by, or this tube by itself could pierce your parachute. If you have this ping pong ball right here, then there should be no piercing whatsoever because this is a rounded surface. This doesn't have just a sharp rim right here that could pierce a hole out of it. It's much more rounded and smooth for your parachute rocket going up your parachute stays on and then when it comes down it should be able to get off easily but another way that you could improve the aerodynamics of this rocket is to get one of those easter eggs you could find at the sand club or costco because this is one of the better ones now not a, this is a different type of easter egg this one opens up from the half for some reason but there are ones that open up from the middle and those are the ones that i would recommend because you can just Place those on top and it would work just fine. So it's sort of like an egg. It is an egg, but it looks sort of wacky. But I mean, this is by like if you take if you were able to cut this top part off and put this on your paint on your rocket, this would be the best aerodynamic tip. Now, if you compare the, I guess gotta cut this off. The top half of this egg to let's say a Tesla or a SpaceX rocket, not Tesla, or SpaceX rocket or NASA rocket, it looks 
pretty similar. And there's a reason why. These, this shape is super aerodynamic. Now you have to make sure that the bottle cap of your rocket will not touch the inside of it. But at the very least, you should be able to use the bottom super easily without having to worry about the bottle cap of your soda, uh, of your soda touching the inside of, uh, touching the tip of this egg-like structure. So this is another cheap solution. Not those, just make sure you don't get the ones that open up from top to bottom, get the ones from open up from the middle. This is just an old one I had laying around to show you guys this topic. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, drop any questions, feedback, or video ideas down in the comments below. Follow me on social media. My Instagram page will be right here, or you can find the links to all of my social media pages down in the description. And finally, please consider subscribing to the channel because I post videos on Science Olympiad every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday to help you build better devices. But with that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Stay unfazed.